Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a review on my Evolution S380 chop saw. This particular model has a 15 inch blade and I believe it allows you to go up to a 16 inch blade as well. Uh, this is the 15 inch blade though. This blade is advertised as a low RPM saw, produces very little sparks, and your cut part should have virtually no burr on it at all. So we're going to go ahead and set that up and give that guy a go. Boom. Boom. Alright, first 45 degree cut. The max cut for this saw is supposed to be three and a half inches tubing at a 45. This is three inch, eighth inch thick. Let's see how she does. good about that. Last cut.
All right, so let's take a quick look at the parts. So here's one. And as you can see, that is a pretty nice cut. Nice and smooth. There is a very slight burr here in the back, but it is barely noticeable at all. I wouldn't even bother grinding that. I wouldn't even bother grinding that off when I weld. Uh, here is another part right here. <clears throat> Again, nice cut. You can see a little bit of a burr right here. No, not very big. In fact, there. No. Couple hits with the file, it's gone. Grinder, that would just take a second or two. On the other side here, again, a little slight burr right there on the inside lip, but nice cut. Almost perfectly square, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and match those two parts up and look at that. Nice, tight fit right there. That is gorgeous. For a 45 degree, you can't, can't argue with that. Gosh, throw a magnet on there. Woof. Look at that. Can't argue with that. Beautiful little setup. Boom. Boom. She is ready to weld. All right, so final thoughts. Uh, it seems to struggle a little bit when these tubes are in the flat position and cutting on that 45, um, especially on the beginning. And the beginning there, we had to cut through that seam weld, so I'm not surprised that struggled a little bit, but man, on that bottom, it really seemed to struggle. Uh, it had really slowed down, and it still made a lot of sparks. I'm worried that that may result in a lot of wear on this blade. That is the disadvantage to using one of these saws as opposed to an abrasive wheel. The abrasive wheels to replace are very cheap. These guys can run uh, up in the $80 range, I believe probably even more, especially with the bigger saw. But I gotta say, it makes a heck of a nice cut. Um, there is a slight burr on here, but I mean, it's very, very small. I wouldn't even bother grunting that off if I was gonna weld on that. It makes a very nice, clean cut, very smooth. Uh, unfortunately though, it does create a lot of debris. Um, this tray does catch some of the chips, but as you could see, most of those chips just ended up everywhere on my garage floor. Um, this area is now no longer a walk in your bare feet zone. Anyone that comes into my garage now has to wear shoes. So overall, I am happy with it. As long as this blade has a decent life to it, that it doesn't uh, crap out on me after a couple dozen cuts, I'll be pretty happy with my purchase.